Hey everybody, this is Dan from wikigameguides.com and today I'm doing a review of the Elgato Game Capture HD and I just want to start off by saying I love this thing. I've been using it for the last few months over the busy season and it's treated me very well. Um, before I was using this, I was using the Blackmagic Intensity Pro which is a capture card you have to install in a desktop computer. And I recently switched to a MacBook Pro so I needed something external and uh, this is what it is. So, uh, let's take a look at what you get. So this is the box, pretty nice packaging, really clean and simple. The device sits right there, and it comes with three cables. So, if you take a look at, this is it. Very small and compact. On this side we got AV in and HDMI in. And this is coming from the console you're recording, so HDMI in is gonna be your Xbox 360, your iPad or iPhone, or you know, the Wii U, something using HDMI. Uh, the only exception is PS3, which has HDMI, but they have an encryption that won't allow this to work with it, so it's got a special cable for the PS3. And then the AV side, you've got you know Super Nintendo, they added support since I started using this for the old consoles, uh, so N64, um, so that's really cool. On the other side, you got your HDMI out, which is going to your TV that you're playing on. So there's no lag between your controls and your play. And the USB, which goes to your computer, which is where the footage is all recorded. So it doesn't require an external power supply. Really compact, great for travel. Um, yeah. So now let's take a look at how the software works, and I'll show some examples of footage I've recorded. All right, now let's take a look at the software for the Game Capture HD. So, what you're seeing now is the Mac version of the software. If you're doing it on Windows, it might look a little different, have a, a few different options. Um, but basically, it's gonna be pretty much the same idea. So you got two basic sections to the software, the capture side and the edit side. So let's look at the capture side first. Uh, first what you do is uh, select a spot on your hard drive for it to save. Uh, the saving's kind of weird, I'll talk about that later. Uh, and then you select your device preferences, um, which is really slick. Uh, it's got Xbox 360, PS3, Wii U, iPad, iPhone as defaults. Um, they also support old school consoles like N64 and Super Nintendo. but haven't tried that yet. Uh, right now I just got my iPhone hooked up, so we'll use that. Uh, it has HDMI and component options, depending on what you're using. The iPhone's only HDMI out. Um, and you can select the quality. So once you do that, just hook up your device. There's my phone. And there you go. We got some Angry Birds Star Wars. So um, over here, uh, you get to name your file. And so you put it in Angry Birds Star Wars, the game. And then it will group all your Angry Birds Star Wars together. I'm going to call this Test01. And then. <clears throat> We can just play some Angry Birds Star Wars. So you'll notice that I haven't hit record yet. And with every other capture device, that would be a problem. But with this one, it's not because the software is what really makes this thing cool in my opinion so I got one star say uh, I need to get three stars before I record it so I'll try again and let's see if I can get three stars 
Okay, I got three stars. So, what I want to do here is, see this is the time scale. So basically this thing is like a, a DVR. It's recording all the time. And this will let me go back up to, I don't know, one, two hours. It's usually, it's probably dependent on how much free space I have on the hard drive, but it usually lets me go back around two hours. So I'm gonna go back to my three star run. Okay, so that was my one star. I'm gonna start recording now. My three star run's about to start. Let's drag that forward. So there's my three star run, and then I hit stop recording. And now it just recorded that, that little three star section only. So that's really awesome. So you don't have to really worry too much um, about recording, because you can always just go back and get the part you want. You can also do it old school, where, let's do number test two. Change the title, and then you can just hit record, and now it's gonna record everything. Oh, my phone turned off. So now I'm just recording everything. And it'll just keep recording until I hit stop recording. So it's really cool, really cool. Uh, it's also got some live commentary and live streaming that hooks up straight to Twitch. I haven't tried that, so I'm not going to really mention that. Alright, cool. So now that we've got some footage, uh, let's take a look at the edit side. So it groups all your game play um, by game title if you choose to title it. So let's go Angry Birds Star Wars. Here's uh, some old stuff I recorded. Um, Dead Space 3, so you can see it does Xbox 360 just fine. Uh, where were we? Angry Birds Space. Man, I got a lot of Angry Birds space recorded. Where did those test? Oh, Star Wars. Where did those test ones go? Here we go. Okay, so here's test one and test two, what I just recorded. So this one is uh, my three star video. And you can do some editing here. I've never used the editing stuff because I always export and do my editing in a different program. So, uh, earlier I said the file system is kind of weird. So when you record, it just goes to this big folder. We'll take a look here. Uh, so I have it go to this video projects folder. And it goes to this game capture HD library. And you can see it kind of just makes a folder for every video you do. And then it's got some information about the file and then the original file itself which is called segment one. So this, not that helpful. But what you can do is, so we got test one, I wanna export it to my video projects folder. So I click video projects, it exports the file into my video projects folder and to be test one. There it is, test one. So it just exported it for me. So that's how you want to get your files out of there. Trying to pull them out of this game capture library is kind of a hassle. So that's how that works. Uh, it's a little strange, but once you get used to it, it's pretty nice. And the other really great thing about it is, even though it's weird, it's handy because if you want to change something before you export it, so test one, say I want to call that Angry Birds Star Wars, uh, three star one dash one. So I changed the information and it automatically changed there. So now if I export it again, it'll be in that file as a, this new name. So I, yeah, I absolutely love the software, love the hardware. I've been using it for 
several months now and I love it. Um, hardware and software are great. I love the rewind capabilities and I've been recording all the guides I've been doing on it for Xbox 360 and for iPad iPhone on here. And I love it, highly recommend it. So that is my review for the Game Capture HD by Elgato. Thanks for watching and game on.